So what would it mean to you to bring back um, your own personal individual medal from Budapest this summer? That's gonna mean everything. It could be a parade inside my city. <laughs> but no, that's it's, that's gonna be amazing, especially just after this past year, you know, just things that I've been doing, I've been getting it in along with being a parent with no sleep and still going to practice and still being able to do it. It's just going to, like all the hard work is going to be paid off. All right, everybody, you already know who it is. Caitlin Hutchison here with Sidious Mag at Louisiana State University, the LSU, and we are here to talk to the one and only Aaliyah Hobbs about how her season is going and everything else you want to know about her. Now look, we are at practice right now. What can we expect from you today? What's going on? How are we feeling? Today, kind of recovery day. We got just uh, abs, med balls, weights, some treatment, and then tomorrow is dead, man. What's going on tomorrow? A lot. Tomorrow we're probably about to go for like two hours. Tomorrow, we're going to be so tired. Then we're going to go to the So you going to be ready for New York this weekend? I haven't raced in a minute, so I'm excited. Yeah. You know, I was having a little knee problem. I was having a little LA. So I was trying to get back to that. So I'm finally back, back training. So you ready to go? It's about to get scary. I just want you to know, I love these selfies that you do. You do? Yeah, because they always end up on Twitter just like, look at Coach Jay. Oh, just do like my thing. <laughs> well, today's a recovery day. Yesterday, the, they, they worked really hard. It was a yeah. volume day, and you know, sprinters don't like volume. So today's kind of a recovery day, and we're hitting the weight room today uh, to be followed up tomorrow with a pretty intense sprint session. So right now, they're really, really, I think, doing a very good job of getting themselves prepared for what's coming in a few weeks. It's kind of interesting that because we battled various different uh, injuries along the way but I think uh, for, for Aaliyah just the progress that she made from high school being here from Louisiana where I had an opportunity to watch her run for four years in high school and then coming to LSU and just watching the significant improvement that she made the continued improvement from even the college years as she turned professional and how she's continued to stay focused and improve on her performances I guess the third thing is is that you know uh, when you have a baby and you're trying to take care of a family, I've seen a difference in the kind of, of growth and focus on, you know, small detail things this year that, you know, sometimes as a coach you're having to prod along and now she's just taking care of business, so I'm really proud of her. But as we approach USA's, you know, it's going to be a very competitive kind of a meet and relaxation and being able to focus on good mechanics I think is going to be the real key. Like I always tell them, if it feels easy, you know, that means it's it's going good. And so that's the main emphasis that we've got right now. First one I ask you is, who do you feel like is the greatest athlete of all time across any sport? Mm -hmm. Kobe. Kobe? Why? He's a goat. He is the goat. What are all the nicknames that you've ever been given? I don't really have that many nicknames. Eel. No. Trackstar. Period. <laughs> she is. <laughs> That's probably it right there. Everybody call me a though. Okay. Or maybe sure. Leah, but a Leah most of the time. If someone said that you had to rap a song word for word in order to get the 100 meter world record, what song would it be? Oh Lord. Lil Wayne, watch my shoes. 
period, period. Name three artists to describe your music taste. Young boy. Yeah! Yes! Yes! That's why I leave my dog, bro. That's why I leave my dog. Yep. Then I'm gonna throw some dirt in there. Period. I'ma chill with the ride wave. Ride wave. I don't, I ain't really been on the ride wave. Wave. I probably never wanna hear so I know everyone on. I just like wanna, you know the little singing. You know I want to sing. Everything I'm okay at home? Cause he a little depressed. I know, but <laughs> I don't be thinking about it. I'm singing it like that. You know? <laughs> be listening to what he said. I'm not right. singing it. I'm, I went to a concert. I'm listening to the video. I'm screaming, singing the song. It's crazy. I'm loud. <laughs> just in case you miss. What do you think is one thing that people uh, misunderstand about you? I guess that track music I have like a serious face on, but some people think that I'm mean, and I'm not at all. Who got the best gritty in your training group? <laughs> Me. <laughs> What's a moment in your life that you would want to like do over? Do over? Yeah. Ooh. Olympic trials. Why? So I can race and get in that hundred. Oh, period. <laughs> exactly. Race for real for us. Shut up and get through it and at the end. And I know I can't yeah. run. We gonna yeah. talk. We gonna talk about that. What we gonna do it again next year though? So. Oh, what is your last Google search? How to cure a baby cough. <laughs> I'm like, we gotta figure something out. My baby be coughing, he's sick, and I'll be like, try, trying to find out. I'm all on TikTok, looking up stuff. Somebody probably some, it's something stuff. with some baby stuff. I ain't lying. It's something. <laughs> Chris sent me no question. I'm like, oh, damn. Sure. We're about to get all serious. Forgot about those. <laughs> Yeah, that's his habitat. Mikey! Yeah, I should have named him Tony, bro. Tony the Tony? Yes, bro, I should have named him <laughs> Tony. Or maybe that's he just got a cousin named though. Tony or something. Yeah, I think it's uh, his brother named Tony. He got a brother. Yo. <laughs> Tony! I don't care if his name Mike. His name Tony. You call him Tony? That, name, that man named Tony. He gonna be like, who? With your back turned, he'll jump up and like, get on the glass. And they started putting up signs and saying, don't put your back to the glass. Cause people would go down, stand like this, he's just gonna jump up all the way and just hit the glass. Mm -hmm. They put those so signs up right. and say, no. Yes, ma'am. What a training room, though. Literally, that. Oh, yeah, oh, man. So, what do you think Adidas saw in you when they signed you? Because I know you were stressing about a lot of stuff, but I mean, they committed to you and they've been with you ever since. So, what do you think they saw in you? I think they really seen the potential. Like, because I would run fast and I would get hurt, but I could shake back and run fast. So, I think they actually seen that I can run fast. If I'm healthy, I can run even faster. So, I'll say they, they see their hunger in me. They saw, they saw it. They knew it. Like, yeah, they, they know. So like, what's some advice that you would give to somebody who's struggling between like, yeah, I really want to be successful, but like, I still want to live my life at the end of all of this too? I would say balance, like find balance. You, you can't find it in between. Like you can't be like, okay, I'm not gonna do it this time, do this, but maybe next time I could do it. Or just depends on what it is. But if you could find a good balance, then it, it'll weigh out. So I would say really, sit down and figure it out. And <laughs> you really want to do both. My wife and my kids, I was like, he said, I ain't care about nothing. He's like, I didn't really care about the race. It's about like, I need the money to, to live because we ain't really living right now. And so I know you just talked about like for you, your senior year, like that was a part of your motivation, like making sure you get that money, making sure you can take care of yourself. But I want to know 
what else goes into like motivating you like getting up for practice every day like doing what you're supposed to do and like being better for yourself um well i didn't have a child at the time <laughs> but at the time it was because i was running track since i was eight and so it's like i've been doing it for so long it's something i love my family everybody at home the support system is crazy so that play a huge part like just like on facebook they go crazy and i'm just looking at it and it just kind of motivated me like you know i won't put on the show for y'all i want y'all to be like you know, we're so proud of you. you know, I'm from the, from my hometown. Not too many people, you know, coming out doing stuff like that. So it's like, I just want to make a difference. 707, that ties the collegiate record rack run by Hannah Cunliffe earlier this season. Aaliyah Hobbs wins the race and sets the collegiate record. Aaliyah Hobbs, simply not beatable.